Hi friends, I recently posted a video about my experiment with kale in spider former hydroponic system. This is a very quick update on the continuation. I have been harvesting this kale in small quantities from the beginning and it is coming back very nice. It is day 70. All plants are loaded with greens. Today I am harvesting a lot of kale. Here are the plants after deep harvesting. I just want to revise two things that I mentioned as concerns in my previous videos. The first thing is the minimum height adjustment. The lowest we can adjust the lights on this system is 11 inches. I thought that's going to be an issue and the plants grow leggy, but I'm not seeing any issues here with the scale. The second issue is the loose pods. The pods are not tight enough in the pod holes and they were wiggling and lifting up a little bit. But as the plants grow big and develop more roots, the pods became stable and they don't wiggle anymore. Loose pods are very annoying, but this is not as bad as I originally thought. Day 80, kale is coming back pretty fast. Plants have very few leaves at the moment and they are still young, but I need some kale pretty badly today. So I am harvesting all these greens. This is the kale I got today. It is actually a lot. And here are the plants after deep harvest. Plants are left with just one or two baby leaves. Let's see how fast they will come back. Day 86. It is just 6 days since I last harvested the kale so deep and the plants are back with a bunch of greens. This is how fast the kale is coming back. It doesn't matter whether there are 2 plants per pod or just 1 plant per pod. All plants are doing excellent and they are aggressively producing lots of greens. Overall, this is a very successful experiment. If you love kale and you consume a lot of kale, you can definitely go with spider former hydroponic system. We can grow up to 15 plants comfortably and we will get kale in large quantities. Alright, that is the quick update I wanted to give you. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.